hi everyone welcome back in today's video so in this tutorial i'm going to show you the best technique in which you can apply so that you can cannulate a vein easily without disturbing you so before you start the procedure make sure first you gather all the necessary supplies that you need for you to perform the procedure for instance you may require a adhesive plaster a strapping for you to dress the cannula you will need a disposable goldfish for you to apply as a tunicule you will need an alcohol swabs for you to clean the vein you will need IV cannulation so this is the 22 gauge cannula you will need a cotton wool for you to apply pressure on the area where you have given the shot you will need a sterile water for injection for you to flush the cannula you will need a marker band for you to write the date in which you have done the IV cannulation okay before you start make sure you start by introducing yourself to the patient for example Hi, my name is Dr. Daoud. I am going to perform IV cannulation. Are you ready? Yes. So the patient should be concentrated on the procedure that, that you are doing first. Then what you do? First, make sure you start by applying a tunicule. You start by applying a tunicule first. You apply a tunicule for the vein to be very feasible for you. Then what you do? Make sure you bulbate the vein or you can make retraction so you can make retraction or you can bulbate the vein for them to be very feasible so we have different types of veins we have the basilic vein we have the cephalic vein and we have the cephalic accessory vein so make sure you choose the best and suitable vein in which you can cannulate easily without interruption then what you do you get an alcohol swabs you get an alcohol swabs then you start cleaning the vein first you start cleaning the vein first before you start the procedure then what to do make sure your hand should always be in this side so that your thumb can support you when you are doing the IV cannulation so that you can retract back the skin to avoid the vein from rolling side to side so your thumb should retract back the skin to avoid from the vein rolling from side to side so that you can cannulate comfortable and easily without breaking the vein and is being and being is swollen then what you do make sure mistakes to avoid whenever you're doing IV cannulation make sure you avoid injecting injecting or inserting make sure you avoid inserting IV cannulation an area where two veins meet so make sure you avoid an angle where two veins meet then what to do always retract back the skin so that you insert the cannula safely without any interruption then what you do you remove you get the IV cannulation you remove the cannula from the manufacturer's packaging then make sure first you attach the cannula secure you secure it first before you start inserting into the vein then you remove the cap of the cannula then you hold the cannula the right direction on the right angle so that you can insert um, comfortable comfortably without any interruption then this is how you are going make sure your hand should be at this side your thumb always supports you whenever you're inserting the IV cannulation because you retract back the skin and another mistake for you to avoid is make sure you avoid an area where bone is near so avoid inserting a vein where there is a feasible bone because that causes a sharp pain the patient may experience a sharp pain because the area is near and around a bone or you avoid in inserting a V cannulation an area where there is a very thin venous because there is a sciatic nerves the patient may experience sharp pain so you have to avoid that okay let us proceed so you get the IV cannulation you hold like this and make sure you your thumb always supports you then you have to insert the cannula 15 degree 45 degree angle into the vein so this is how you are going to insert you insert deep into the cannula then what you do you observe if there is any flashback into the cannula's jumper so you observe this is the first flashback so when you see the primary flashback then you pull back the needle of the cannula then so that you again see another uh, the secondary flashback so this is how you are going to do when you see the primary flashback you pull back the needle of the cannula so that you experience another flashback so this is the secondary flashback this was the primary flashback then what you do you secure the needle then you advance the cannula deep into the vein so this is how you are going to do so make sure 
you insert it like that then what you do you remove the chiniku then you hold your thumb on the tip of the cannula to avoid blood rushing outside of the cannula then you get the IV cap cannula you remove the needle completely like this then you attach the cap of the cannula at the end so you attach it you attach it like this then what you what you do you start dressing the cannula you start dressing you secure the cannula by dressing it with an with an with a strapping so make sure you dress and secure the cannula before you start giving the drug to the patient okay you secure the cannula first with the adhesive strapping then after you have finished then what you do make sure you try first if the vein is working or not you flush the vein first so make sure you flush with an strail a water for injection for you to try if the kernel is working or not you flush it with an strail with a strail water for injection so this is brother. so you flush it with a strail water for injection when you see that the kernel is secure so you remove the syringe you attach the cap of the kernel at the end so this is how you are going to perform them at the end. So at the end of the procedure make sure you label the date that you have done the IV cannulation you write so this is how you are going to do you write you write the date you have performed the cannula then you change the cannula after every three days so this is how you are going to perform best IV cannulation technique so if you find the video helpful kindly smash that subscribe button like and share and give your comment to this video thanks for your watching and see you in the next video